So today I woke up with a couple new zits on my face. Yeah, not something I'm super happy about, but beyond what I can control with makeup, I've reduced the look of them. And I've done this with a super simple method in Premiere that I'm gonna show you right now. And if you're new here, I'm Allie, and Will and I release weekly-ish videos all about video editing and camera tutorials, as well as filmmaking gear reviews. So subscribe to stay in the loop. Now let's hop into Premiere and check out how to do this. Okay, so it looks like this woman has four zits that we'll wanna get rid of, and the one closest to her eye might be tough because her eyelashes blink over the pimple, but we're still gonna try and get rid of it. Hopefully we can. So let's go to effects and type in Gaussian blur. Here it is in the blur and sharpen folder. Drag that onto our clip. Go to effect controls. Well, let's get a closer look at these pimples. Click on the drop down menu here and choose 100%. Under Gaussian Blur, let's click on this circle mask, which will create a nice big circle. I'm gonna hold Shift down on my keyboard. Holding Shift down is gonna allow us to keep this circle a proper circle. Grab one of these anchor points and drag it inward to decrease the size so that it's just a little bit bigger than the blemish itself. Now move your cursor within the circle and a hand icon will appear, which will allow you to click and drag wherever you'd like. Let's put this directly over the pimple so that the pimple's in the center of our mask. And now we'll click the toggle animation beside mask path here so that we have the position of the mask set and click this play button here to track this zit frame by frame. Sometimes Premiere does an awesome job and it works out perfectly. Other times, not so much. Cool, okay, and now as you can see, there are tons of keyframes there. And to be able to see where the mask has tracked, I'm just gonna make sure that mask one is clicked so that we can see the blue circle. I'll scrub backwards here. Okay, and yeah, Premiere did an awesome job of tracking that zit. So I find it easier to first make sure that my mask is tracking the pimple properly and that I can see that pimple really easily and then adding blur to the mask. I'm gonna bring blurriness up to 30. I also like to increase the mask feather. Let's see how 37 looks. Okay, I'm happy with that. And of course, you'll want to adjust the Gaussian blur amount as well as the feathering amount to suit your footage. Sometimes I only push Gaussian blur to around 10 and the feather to around 15. And when you're using an effect on someone's skin, you never want to push that effect too far so that it's super obvious their skin's been altered. If anything, it's better to have a bit of the skin imperfection slightly showing while still keeping the naturalness of the skin. Oh, and me and about I think it's 185,000 other people use Will's skin smoothing technique in Premiere to make skin look smoother. That's a tutorial I highly recommend you check out. I'm gonna link it in the description below so you can check it out after this one. Okay, so this woman does have a few more pimples that I'll be able to easily remove around her chin, for example. Since you know what to do now, I'm gonna speed up this part of the video until we get to the pimple on the bridge of her nose that I think is gonna be problematic. Okay, and here we are. We'll bring the Gaussian blur effect onto the clip again, add our circle mask, adjust the size of it. Because this is such a narrow spot where she has this pimple, I'm gonna make the mask even smaller. Make sure my cursor's at the beginning of the clip so that we start the tracking from there. Press the toggle animation beside mask path, press play to track, and let's scrub over. Oh, and already <laughs> it looks like the mask actually tracked to her eyelashes. So you can still use the portions of your auto-generated tracking that are working and then bring your cursor to the spot where you see the mask start to go off of the pimple. Let's zoom into 200%. Click on the mask on the program monitor, move it over so that the pimple again is in the center of the mask that position has now been held with that particular keyframe. Because a lot of the keyframes to the right of this one have had the mask track to her eyelashes rather than the pimple, I'm gonna delete them all. So you can do that by selecting all of them and then pressing delete. 
And now, since auto tracking didn't work so well with this pimple, we're going to manually track it. Making sure that you've clicked on the effect controls area where the keyframes are, you can use your right arrow key to move over a few frames. Usually you can get away with moving over two or three frames, then grab your mask, position it over the zit again, and another keyframe will be added to hold that position. And yeah, manually tracking your mask is gonna take a little bit longer, but sometimes, like in this case, it will give you much better results. All right, and now that this pimple's been tracked, we can increase the blurriness and feather. And now we've reduced most, if not all of the blemishes on this person's face. So here's the before and the after. That did an awesome job, that's looking great. All right, and there you go, that's how to easily hide zits in Premiere. If you like the music in the background of this video, we use an awesome site for all of our music. It's linked in our description below, as well as all of our favorite film gear. Thanks for checking this video out. Let us know in the comments below what other filmmaking hacks or video editing techniques you wanna learn, and check out our over 120 other filmmaking tutorials. Subscribe for the latest, and we'll see you in another video.